Uh, last time we played, I lost against him in in the U.S. Open in second round. So uh, I I came uh, mentalized that it was going to be a a very difficult match. And uh, actually, for me, not only playing against him, that he's a good player, and, uh, and like I said last time, we we played, I lost. Uh, it's been also a part of that. It's been a, a very difficult year for me um, in the matter of. Uh, of my elbow, of my arm, with uh, so many, so many weeks that I couldn't play tournaments this year, and uh, you know after Australia I had to stop for like three weeks, and then after Doha I had to stop for six weeks, and after uh, Barcelona also again I had to stop for also like three four weeks, and um, you know it's always uh, it's always important to to win matches no matter the tournament, no matter. Uh, like the conditions because at the end when you play these tournaments right now you can see the draws and, and the players the, the quality of the players that they are very good and uh, and doesn't matter if they are 200 or 100 in the world uh, they played really good tennis so you have to play a really good match to, to win any kind of match so for me it's important this this victory like I said because of all the tournaments that I couldn't play this year and how bad I was feeling with my arm and uh, actually the last I don't know, maybe five, five, I didn't count right now, but I think around five, six matches uh, I lost, the last five matches. So obviously, it, I hope it will help me to get confidence and, 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 to, and to feel better on court, to be able to get rhythm and, and win more matches this year. Have you ever been in Slovakia? Do you like it? I, I, I played in <laughs> 2005 here, uh, Davis Cup against uh, Dominic Carbati and uh, and who was the other the other guys on the team? I think was Beck, uh, Carol Beck, Carol Beck, and uh, the other two guys I don't remember right now. It's been 18 years, so <laughs> so many times, so, so much time. Uh, actually, when they told me when I arrived here, they told me if I remember, I was like, "You play against Servati?" I was like, "Oh no." Then I remember because it was actually my 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 first Davis Cup tie as um, as uh, one of the four main players. Uh, so obviously. You will you will never remember uh, you will never forget that that kind of uh, matches and that kind of type. But I wasn't sure that it was in this arena right there. So so obviously it's been it's been great you know to to get all those memories. Actually, the photographer from here, one of these guys, they came and gave me pictures from from that tie 18 years ago. So it was like great you know like wearing the Real Madrid shirt in the practice and uh, you know it's always good obviously to be able to to have like such a long career as I had and now obviously in the last um, in the last moments of my career because I will turn 40 this year and I think m most likely uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will retire at the end of this season or or at the end of last season but next season but just playing a few tournaments so obviously it's uh, it's great to to come back to places that you know that here that obviously when I asked for the wild card they were very happy that that I asked for the wild card and, and and it's such a pleasure for a player like me that I had like a really long career and I have been top 10 and I have been like obviously many years in the top 30 uh, now that you know I'm 300 or whatever because obviously I wasn't playing good the last two years, uh, you know, like people like here in the tournament, they, they want me to come and to play, so obviously I will try my best to to go as far as possible. Did you watch your final Roland Garros? What do you I, think I, I watched a little bit, but not all, because I had to practice, it was a terrible weather day, uh, and uh, I had to practice in the afternoon, but uh, I watched a little bit, and obviously uh, from here I have to say congratulations to, to Nole, he's a, he's a good friend, we, we played each other. First time uh, at the U.S. Open, 2007, I think it was, also so many years ago, when he was coming from the qualies, if I'm not wrong. And uh, I already, like, I won that match, but in five sets, and I was like, shit, this, <laughs> this guy plays so good. So um, after almost 20 years, look, you know, he's now the, the, the player with more Grand Slam titles in history, so obviously that's uh, something from another planet, no? I think he's a little bit like... Nadal and Roger, all, all of them, like all these three players, they are, I think, like aliens, you know. They came from another planet to play tennis here. So obviously, players like me and many others, we cannot, we have not been able to win Grand Slams because these three guys, they won 70 together. So, so yeah, um, but yeah, I'm happy for him and, and he deserves it. He's an unbelievable player.